So we've printed our calibration pattern, and from our calibration pattern, we're going to take some measurements and input those measured values into the software. And uh, so the first thing I've done and is I've removed a couple of pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off. And this piece here as well. Um, in actuality, what you want to do is make sure that you're taking these next two measurements I talk about first before removing any parts. Um, but we're going to go ahead and save this piece. This piece was printed from the front of our perf board. And I'm going to set this one over here. This is the raft material. Um, now, to know which side is the front of your perf board if you removed it and you know, spun it around, there's going to be a small line of filament that will be printed down onto the perf board. And this filament is uh, to the cleaning of the nozzle. There's a, uh, before you print and the nozzle's heating up, you'll get uh, a, a bit of drool coming down off of the nozzle. This basically wipes off that drool, drool Make sure that the nozzle's nice and clean before it actually starts to print your pattern. Um, so. I've got that removed. I'm going to keep this off on the side, and we're going to make some measurements off of that here momentarily. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and follow the instructions of how to take measurements from the rest here. So we've got two lines. We have an X1 line here and an X2 line here. And so from front left to rear right is our X1, and we're going to measure the outside wall to outside wall of our pattern. And we get about uh, 125.3 and change. So we're going to document that. And, and we're going to 
spin and go to our X2 line. And value there is uh, 124 uh, and 0.2 and change. So document that. Um, it's best if you can use calipers for this. If you don't have a caliper, certainly you can use just a uh, uh, a ruler to do that. But certainly a caliper is going to give you a little more accuracy. So I'm going to move this off on the side. Now with this piece here, we're going to measure the height. And the height should be at 40 millimeters. And to measure, we're going to take and just make sure that from the top to there is 40 millimeters. And that's what I've got. It, but we'll document that. So this is 40 millimeters. And the next thing we need to do is check our angle here to see if it's past 90 degrees or before 90 degrees. And this can be a little difficult to do. But you just take a uh, something that's got a right angle. If you've got a square, that would be the best and place it on here and measure to see if you've got space in here and try to see uh, how to measure that space. Um, if you have a feeler gauge that might be a good way to do that and or measure the space over there and see if we can uh, get what value of millimeters uh, that is. So this one is square, so we don't have to change that value at all. So we'll go ahead and document that and move into uploading it into the software. OK, so we've uh, printed out our calibration pattern. And this is the screen right now after uh, we've printed. And we've take since taken our measurements. And we're going to go ahead and input that. So we're going to go to 3D print calibrate and this is the screen that comes up kind of gives us some uh, images here to help us reference what we're going to be doing the first thing we want to do before we put in values is we see up here it says calibrate XY 0 0.50 degrees XZ uh, 0 0.00 degrees we want to click reset because whatever values we enter now into these boxes is going to add on top of these values so we need to zero those out. We click reset and we can see our values are now zero. Now, uh, since we've already measured our X1, which is from the front of our print, the from corner to corner, front left corner facing to rear right corner facing, we're going to uh, type that value in. And And that value was 125.32. And the X2, which is the other corner, is 124.23. And as we measured our right angle, um, by the image here, if your vertical piece is leaning in, that would mean that you would have to increase, put a positive value into here. If it is leaning backwards, you would put a negative value. And it's based on a zero point. So, we'll, and we've shown you in the video that uh, uh, how to measure that. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this zero and the height we've measured at 40. We're going to go ahead and leave that as is. Click OK. 
and we'll click yes. And that's it. If we go to 3D print, we go to calibrate again, we'll see now that our compensation values are updated here.